Hi, this is Travis Saban, Product Manager for Adobe Analytics. And today we're going to be talking about the new churn feature in the cohort table updates. So let's pretend for today's video that I am a large insurance company and we drive huge customer engagement through the use of our mobile app. And as we add new features to new app versions, it's critical that we get our users upgrading to the latest version of the app. So using the new cohort table features, I can do some really, really great analysis to help me uncover my user behavior and if they're doing the kind of app upgrades that I would like them to see. So I'm gonna build a quick cohort pairing my repeat visitors and I want to see which app version is performing best at keeping my users coming back. So I'm going to use the custom dimension cohort to quickly drill in and identify which app version most of our people are on by comparing them side by side. So when that builds, I can look and see the majority of my users are here on 1.6. However, 1.7 is my latest version that is really getting a lot of focus that I want to drive my users to. And so I can come in and create a segment of these 1.6 users and do some deeper analysis. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to turn off this, and I'm going to drag over my 1.6 version segment here. And if I build another table, I can quickly see the type of behavior I'm seeing for each of my cohorts here on the 1.6 version. I've got lots of initial traffic, but they tend to trail off and don't come back. Now, the great new feature that we have here for churn is a great way to really visualize and understand really how good or bad my retention is performing and if users are falling out. So if I change to the churn feature, now I've got this really great red centric table that tells me I'm using the churn. And I can see, again, a lot of my users, I've got some good activity in that first month, but then very quickly, and especially over time, I'm seeing more and more users churn and not come back to my app. Clearly, although I have most of my users on this 1.6 version, I need to try and get them to upgrade because this version is not driving the type of repeat engagement month over month that I want to see. And churn is a great way to visualize and understand that type of behavior. So we hope that this new churn feature in the cohort tables will help you uncover great insights to target your users and improve their experiences.